Hello dear students. In this chapter, I am going to discuss is matter around us pure? Basically, in this chapter, we are going to discuss elements, compound and mixture. In the lesson, student, you are able to learn pure substances, elements, compound, impure substances that mean mixture, solution, classification of solution that mean mixture, separation of mixture, crystallization, separation of mixture by using more than one method. Okay, so student, let's start, we understand this chapter. In our daily life, we often use the terms pure and impure, right? You might have heard your parent saying that these days the milkman is not giving pure milk or these sweets, how cells sweets prepared in pure desi ghee, right? Here desi ghee is said to be in natural form with no adulteration correct that is it is not made impure so generally we use the term pure for the substances which do not have any adulteration right but according to chemistry a pure substances refers to the substances which is made up only one kind of particles in this perspective the majority of the substance around us are in impure form we have studied in the previous chapter about the particulate nature of matter that is matter is made of very tiny particle that is atoms or molecules the purity of a substance is decided by the combination of this particle correct so we understand in this uh, portion that matter matter is further classified into two categories that is pure substances and impure substances that mean mixture then the pure substances further classified into elements and compound and the impure substances that is further classified homogeneous mixture that mean the true solution and heterogeneous mixture then the element classified into the metals and non-metals compound classified into two categories number one is the organic compound number two is the inorganic compound correct and the heterogeneous mixture classified into colloids and suspension correct elements that we uh, further study details metals non-metals and metalloids. Okay, student. Now, dear student, here we going to understand the pure substances. So, what is the definition of the pure substances? The substances that are made up of only one kind of particles are known as pure substances. For example, pure gold, that means the 24 carats gold, is made up of only gold atoms. Correct? Similarly, pure water is made up, made up of only water molecules. But fresh water in general sense is pure. Chemically, it is not pure because it contains oxygen, other essential minerals and some microbes. Example of pure substance are elements and compound. Right. Now we understand the characteristics of pure substances. A pure substance is composed of only one type of atoms or one type of molecules. That means a group of atoms bonded together. These are homogeneous in nature. That means the pure substances are homogeneous 
in nature elements and compound both are pure substances a pure substances have a fixed chemical composition the substances have constant properties such as density melting point boiling point etc the pure substances cannot be broken into simpler substances that mean constituent particles by any physical process right that mean a pure substances has specific set of physical and chemical properties right dear student here we classified the pure substances into two categories one is the element and another is the compound now we understand the element okay so first the question comes out in our mind what is element and how it is formed the elements are those pure chemical substances which are made up of only one kind of atoms it means these substances cannot be further split into simpler substances under normal condition for example carbon is an element because it cannot be split into the simpler substances by applying heat light electricity and pressure element are considered as building blocks of all compounds present in the universe elements like oxygen carbon hydrogen calcium nitrogen and other are also present in living organism like plants and animals till date about 100 118 elements have been discovered out of these 92 elements are natural and the rest are synthetic synthetic means the that they are prepared in the laboratory about 80% of these 92 elements are metals this element are found in earth crust in the combined state or in the free state because this type of the elements are highly reactive so they never be exist in the free state so they are found in nature in combined state or in the free state do you know the student the robert boyle used the term element for the first time in the 1661 a french chemist lavoisier was the first person who defined the elements right now we going to understand the characteristics of element what are the characteristics of element number 1 if we understand the elements characteristics then we say that elements are homogeneous in nature because they are made up of only one kind of atoms for example for example like iron element is made up of iron atoms and uh, the copper element is made up of copper atoms only correct number 2 uh, properties or you can say the characteristics the element cannot be broken into simpler substances by applying heat light and electricity for example hydrogen is an element as it cannot be broken down into the into the simpler substances whereas water is not an element because it can be split into the hydrogen and oxygen by processing electricity correct now number third point the smaller unit of element is atom which shows all the properties of element therefore all the atoms of an element are identical that mean i mean here iron means iron gold means gold that mean iron and gold all properties in built here atoms of different element differ in various aspect like size and composition for example size and composition of sodium atom is different from that of chlorine number 4 the four characteristics of element can be exist in free state like atom or in the combined state like molecules 
For example, helium, neon, argon exist in free state as helium, neon, argon whereas chlorine, bromine, oxygen exist in combined state as chlorine Cl2, Br, Br2 and oxygen O2. Now the fifth characteristic of element is here element can exist in solid, liquid or gaseous form in the room temperature but in the low or high temperature it so different state of matter correct the majority of elements are solid at room temperature right so hope student you understand the elements hello dear student here we are going to understand the compound so what is compound the compounds are those pure chemical substances which are formed by the combination of two or more elements in a fixed proportion by mass the compounds are formed by chemical change correct so the compounds are pure substances made up of molecules from by chemical combination of two or more atoms in a fixed proportion for example water h2o is a compound each water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom chemically combined in a fixed ratio of 2 is to 1 other example of compounds are carbon dioxide co2 iron sulfide APS sodium chloride NaCl and glucose C6 H12 O6 etc a compound has its own unique set of physical and chemical properties which are different from its constituent constituent of a compound cannot be separated by physical method like filtration and evaporation they can be separated by chemical process only for example water can be separated into hydrogen and oxygen by the electrolysis that means passing electric current through it only correct now we understand the characteristics of the compound number one the compounds are pure chemical substance which have molecules as their repeating units number two they have fixed composition correct that means the constituent are present in a fixed proportion by mass for example iron sulfide is a compound formed by the reaction of seven part by mass of iron with four parts by mass of sulfur then we can write the atomic mass of iron is equal to 56 unit Okay, and atomic mass of sulfur is 32 U, that means unified mass. Okay, and ratio by mass is equal to 56 by 32 is equal to 7 by 4. So, the composition of iron sulfide remains 7 is to 4. It is fixed even if more of iron and sulfur are reacted. Number 3 characteristics of a compound like separation of components of compound can be done by the chemical method it is means here the components of the compounds cannot be separated by the physical method like boiling but can be separated by the chemical method like decomposition of reaction for example hydrogen and oxygen cannot be separated from water by boiling but they can be separated by electrolysis of acidulated water that is that means it is a chemical method number four compounds are homogeneous in nature that is they have same properties and composition throughout the mass for example we cannot identify the particles of hydrogen and oxygen in water separately separately even by using the powerful microscope 
and every drop of water has the same composition and properties correct now number five characteristics the properties of compound are different from its constituent element the constituent element lose their original properties after the formation of compounds for example water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen individually hydrogen burns and oxygen supporting burning but water neither burns not support burning correct so the another properties number 6 properties is here they have constant melting and boiling point for example pure water has a boiling point of 100 degrees celsius iron sulfide melts at a definite temperature now number 7 point of the compound they are formed as a result of the chemical reaction during the formation of a compound the elements combine with each other as a result of some chemical reaction compound formation not only the requires mixing of two elements together but also requires the suitable condition for the reaction for example simple mixing of the hydrogen and oxygen does not form water but water is the form when an electric spark is passes through the mixture of hydrogen and oxygen carbon dioxide is a compound which it is which is formed by the reaction of carbon and oxygen but burning of coke in oxygen right the given below the reaction is there c plus o2 it is the burning process and it is from the co2 that been carbon dioxide from now number 8 characteristics there formation of compound is either exothermic or endothermic reaction that mean during the formation of the compound energy is either or absorbed or released as we have have seen earlier during the formation of water molecules electrical energy is absorbed on the other hand during the formation of carbon dioxide heat energy is released so we can say that compound formation is accompanied by either release or absorb of energy that mean endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction both is process here number 9 point is there a compound has a definite molecular formula that mean the iron sulfide is a molecular formula of iron sulfide h2so4 is the molecular formula of sulfuric acid and h2o is the molecular formula of water here iron sulfide formula is fes that you remember right i hope this concept it is help you to better understand okay so student you understand all this thing that we discuss over here it's very clearly okay hope student you subscribe my channel share this video with your friend and don't forget to click the bell icon i hope you enjoy the class thank you for watching this video